Okay, I think we're good. May we shall we start? Hi guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time. I'm almost sure it's a year, but I don't I don't think there's an exaggeration. But I think it's almost a year or six months or more or there about okay, it's not six months because I'm not even coming this year and this is already the sixth month. So it's been almost a year. Maybe ten months or thereabouts. But yeah, that's by the way. Um so yes, first and foremost, obvious things, the name got changed. Woo! <laughs> yes, we changed the name um, for different reasons. Um, name got changed because first and foremost, we are going to be trying new things. And I wanted to let that reflect in the name that we're going to, that I'm going to be bearing from here on out. Um, so maybe could go for as long as possible secondly um i realized a lot of people found it very difficult to find me i'm just here to come and ch chit chat with you on what's been going on on um, certain things i want to talk to you guys about and just to ease into coming back on youtube after a very long hiatus and literally where i've been what i've been doing what's been going through my mind some of it i'm sure i can't go through everything here it's been a long time um but yeah let's let's do this shall we so i'm going to be doing my makeup i'm going to get ready um i'm going to do a get ready with me never done this before and i will tell you now please do not think that i am trying to teach you how to do makeup because i have myself i need teaching <laughs> i need a lot of teaching but i just said let me come and do my rubbish on it so um where do we start from i think i'll just start from the very first thing that I, i've been meaning to talk about um where have i been i've been going through the paces of life and trying to understand where i need to be and um the things that matter to me i've not away i've not um been able to understand a lot of things um that have been happening with me and what that was happening with about me to me and with me and for me that so i so let's start from the beginning i mentioned before that i moved to lagos i'm so i moved to lagos this thing is plenty of shit i moved to lagos and i couldn't for the love of me balance a lot of things um i was i was i started in 95 i was running a business and then um what else was i doing and my my nine to five was taking a lot from me so i've, so I've done things that were not my business in the time past because i don't want to call it nine to five but this was like an actual nine to five where i was going to the office so i used to work um at an event company a time a long time ago but that one was like i trained and then i started working there and that one was like you went to the office whenever you needed to go to the office and then you walk and then you let it go but the thing is that with this one like there's always a constant work i'm working at a digital marketing firm and if you know anything about digital marketing you know that it's a constant thing and i was working as a content writer or i'm working as a content writer i currently work there so i'm working there for about a year now and it just got it was just really overwhelming for me to be honest i i started i started so i i, I moved into lagos so I've, i'd always said i would never work in lagos not never never but i'd always said like you know there's almost saying over your dead body kind of behavior i was one of those people that would say something like that like it could never be me it could never be me that would work in lagos it just wouldn't have been me. I did not see it being me at any point in my life. And I was so sure of it. And with the way I was so sure of it, like I literally carried everything. Like it was not even in my my thoughts. And so when when it was looking like okay, I needed a job because my business wasn't wasn't going as planned. I needed a job. I needed a job pretty urgently because i didn't like the fact that 
I was, I was technically moving from aunt to mouth and depending on my parents for like money and stuff and they had their own responsibility. I see, I, I have younger, I have a younger brother. My parents had things they were doing with their lives that a 24 year old not knowing what she was doing with her life, which I did, but just not generally, um, what's it called? Just not generally figure knowing how she's going to like navigate this thing called life was the list of the problems they want to be having a second and so i started looking for a job so first i applied um in quite a few places um obviously and then after a while i got this one that i am currently doing and in the wake of it i realized that i couldn't because even before then I was I was barely I, I just I took a break because I was just mentally not ready and I was barely putting myself together so anyway I moved here um barely putting myself together and then I just I got tired so that's like really what it was for me I got tired of having to show up I got tired of like adding extra work to the one i was already doing and i also felt like it wasn't like more i was trying to be sane and in my opinion make money and just be then um last year september as you know my birthday is september i clocked 25 and before then i don't know if you can go if you remember for those that are like old ogs if you remember like when i had clocked 24 and i mentioned the fact that i was i was really um somewhat worried for of, of i'm somewhat worried um of the fact that i'll be clocking 24 and it was mainly because i felt like clocking 25 was very near and i really really and i really really dread 25 and let me tell you why i dread 20 i dreaded 25 because i just felt like at 25, I was supposed to have done certain things in my life because that was really the expectation I had, of, I had of, for myself. Let me not lie, I had thought that at 25, I would be married, or even if I was not married, I would be close to it. I would be in a serious relationship. Um, this is me just spilling the truth of what I thought. I thought I would be married. I thought that, but even before that, I thought that at 25, I would be working in a place where i like in like my dream space even though to be honest i don't really know what that even means but i would or i did not know what that meant at the time but i'll be working somewhere that i really loved at 25 i would be i would be making a kind a a level of salary which you got if i'm ever going to do 95 because i did not want to do a 95 but i said okay if i was even going to ever do it i was going to be earning this kind of money i was going to be doing this kind of thing and i was going to have been like my my business would have grown so much than it currently has and i'll be doing so well at my business and it, it wasn't look at 24 I'd, I'd not even figured out like what i want to do in my life not stuck off i was i would not figure out what i want to do in my life i'd not figured out like how i wanted to do anything i would thing i wanted to even do but because i didn't even know what i wanted to do in my life figuring that was a long this thing now the thing is that like i said don't get me wrong it's not me saying i don't know what i wanted to do in my life did not mean that i was totally clueless i had a general idea of what i wanted what what i want how i wanted my life to navigate but how i was going to get there what i was going to do to get there i did not have an idea about that and for the love of me instead of me sitting down there and trying to figure and totally figure it out i was panicking and i carried that panic into my 25th now fast forward to my 25th i as i was getting close to 25 i was even very um, excited like oh i was going to be 25 blah 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 and then I was, going to, I was going to have a shoot i was going to do this i was going to do that i kept telling my friends and family oh my god and stuff and then as the 25 goes, gets closer i started losing interest in all these things i've said so clocking 25 was a very funny one to me because i just by the time i by the time it was a few days to 
I was no longer interested in doing anything. I felt I felt down. I felt sad. For no reason, no. I had like I was even telling myself like I be I be a depressed in it. What's wrong with this one? I was telling myself that like what's wrong with you? But I couldn't really pinpoint what was wrong with me. I was sad. I was I was just not in the mood. I didn't want to like talk about it. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I'm back telling my best friend that I felt numb. And I just literally just felt numb. By the time it was, that was all, my birthday is September. By August, I'd only done, was it one or two events in 2022? And I just felt, and it didn't look like anything was happening for me again that, that year. God, I'm very terrible. You think that because I have like a makeup artist person around me before she traveled out of the country you think i would know how to do these things but she tried to cheat me a few times i always told her we come procrastinated on it till she till she left the country august came around end of august and i'd i'd trashed the idea of shoot i was getting really sad and i remember that i just told myself i'm like you don't have a shoot you don't have pictures to post P people that know you know would know there's something wrong like I was like, what can you do? So I, there's this birthday video thing that I just kept going around. I was like, let me do my own version. So I went to get drinks and stuff. I don't even know if I should do a behind the scene thing. <laughs> I went to get drinks and I get a drink and just did a video. Then I honestly don't know what I'm doing. But I just thanked God and kept him moving. It was really sad. So it was not like I was even sad. Let me not even, let me not even say sad because I was sound like I was just numb. Like I didn't know how to feel. I didn't know what to feel. I didn't know if I was supposed to be a feeling. Which is not me because I, I I'm always excited for my birthday, but this one I was just numb. I did not, I didn't know how to feel. Then I remember that when I got to the office that day, people were like, "Sean, you're sure that today's your birthday?" Because I just wore it. Let's put a picture. I just wore it, a round neck top, and did my hair. Wore my ripped jeans and sneakers. Wore a shirt that said "Even Girl," and that was it. I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling anything. Oh, then a, day, a few days before my my dad threw like a mini birthday get together for me in his office with his with his um staff members. My mom was around. My mom was in Lagos for something, and she just she just told me to come over, and come and say hi. I was going to buy me a mala, and then he threw the birthday surprise for me, and I was just awkward. Like it was just like everybody was ready to celebrate me, and uh, to be honest, people really celebrated me. I still have screenshots of like things people wrote about me it was like as though everybody knew i was i needed the encouragement and i and i that that they were just ready to spoil me my clients that i did their events in july reached out and uh, sent me a cake it was really sweet my office bought me a cake um so i just bought ice cream and just made it a thing for them ice cream and cake for my colleagues um my friends my friends were some of my friends sent me money um to have lunch i was just like i was loved on like i think that's the year that i know that i was really loved on like people really loved on me to be very honest and i was really excited about that in in retrospect but in the moment it just felt like like wow i also really i just kept saying wow People love me this much. People care about me this much. And of course, I know I have loved ones, but just my friends, my friend sent me gifts. One of my friends that doesn't even, I don't know how she, to today, she has not told me how she knows my office, sent me gift for me, but As in, I was so, like, like I said, like, it was as though everybody knew that this was the day I needed them to come through. From September to, I would even say now, I started experiencing what I came to realize was called um, ageism. I searched for what ageism means, um, and I'm going to now explain. The term commonly used to describe a person who does not embrace or accept the age they are currently uh, is age denial or ageism. Age denial, ageism, it, um, refers to a psychological state where um, individuals struggle to acknowledge or accept their current stage of life 
particularly as they grow older it can manifest as a reluctance to identify with one's age or a referral to adapt to the physical emotional or social changes that comes with aging actually i have been experiencing age denial and and ageism and let me explain what i mean so the way it is is that i don't acknowledge i don't acknowledge the age i am currently in it's not like it's intentional it's just a thing whereby i just find myself doing it so if you ask me if you ask me what what my age is it takes me a second to realize that i'm thinking it i know what my age is i know i'm 25 but if you ask him so one time i almost said i think if like a, a month ago or thereabouts somebody was asking me something or maybe i was going to we were talking about something and i was trying to explain something and i and i, I was trying to explain something i said oh so i'm almost 26 and i'm like but i'm 25 like anyway i don't so i don't acknowledge my age really or this age i don't acknowledge my age i do not um I usually don't acknowledge my age i i find it difficult to think about the fact that i'm 25 and i think it stems from this is me just thinking i think it stems from the fact that i also like i've not done a lot of the things that i thought i would be do, I, would, I would have done at this age so i'm like basically when you say self-denial i'm in denial of the age i'm in which is funny because i am happily embracing 26 maybe not happily embracing but i am talking about being 26 more than i've ever talked about the fact that i am currently in 25 i'm currently 25 so i went to check that is there anything called is there anything like age denial or anything and i saw what i just read out to you and it's not really a public thing of i'm saying oh i am not this age and i'm this age it's just the fact that even me to myself i have not admitted to the fact that like i'm not basking in the fact that i am this age like I had come to an understanding that not everyone has their life together. Not even at, I don't, and I don't even want to believe that it's even social media. But many will argue it is social media. So I just, I will not just not argue with that. Um, that makes us feel like we are supposed to be a certain age. Oh God, who sent me to use this thing? It's not me. So what should we go? What are, what, what are we gonna do about it? In my head, I'm just thinking. I had plans. I had things. I, I wanted to like. Be able to tra i wanted to be, tr be able to travel at this age i wanted to be able to make certain kind of money at this age i wanted to be able to achieve certain things at this age just wanted to do th certain things in my life and it was looking like i had not i've not even done any part of it i am three less than three months away from my 26th birthday and in fairness i did not enjoy my 25 i did not even acknowledge the fact that i was 25 that day so not to talk of even now doing anything. I think I go back to my house and just went to sleep. Maybe bought dinner that I maybe I don't even think I bought anything tangible for myself that day. So it was that crazy. Since too much. So like this year, the plan is to enjoy myself as much as possible. And I I'm not even going to even do aspire to perspire because even me i need that i need to be perspired and aspired and acquired <laughs> whatever that is but i'm just going to say that if you've ever felt like if you've ever felt like you you could do better than what you're currently doing or you've ever felt like you like you you're not acknowledging maybe your age or your what would I call it? Maybe your age, or you just feel like you shouldn't be like you. You have so much more you're supposed to be doing at whatever age it is. And to be honest, it, it doesn't even matter what age it is. It could be literally any age at this point. You're not alone. That's really what this video is about. You're not alone. I am in that same um thing with you. I've experienced it. Currently trying to get over it and trying to walk through it, but I've experienced it. And I would literally even say I'm still experiencing it and I'm trying to like get the best of it. I think the best, the good thing that I have done since, but I, without even realizing it, the good thing I've done is that as much as I feel pressure over myself, I've not let that like reduce the kind of things that I am interested in or like 
I mean, figuring out my life mom, trying to understand what I'm doing with my life mom, but it's not let me just just do anything, like just choose anything or just choose anybody or whatever, whatever that, that might look like. I have been trying as much as possible to to focus on me, focus on my work, focus on my nine to five, my businesses. And I started a new business while at it. Funny enough, you think of this thing. I started a new business in September. Started a new business. Started a brighter styling business and just literally taking like the world in my own hands, trying to live. But yeah. For the most part, it's not a conscious thing. And that, that's one of the things that got me worried, that made me even go and start searching. Like, it was not a conscious thing where I'm just, it was like, my mind just literally just wanted to step, sidestep the age. And unfortunately, that's what I've been dealing with. But yeah, um, I'm back on YouTube. But I don't want to talk too much about it because before I got to talk too much about that, and I'll now disappear again. But I must take it as easy as it comes. I said I was going to come back. I think I think I told you my Twitter that I was going to come back in May. May. April, May. Yeah. I think it was May. Then I said, well, let's do June. <laughs> June. That's what I'm recording now. So hopefully, this June sticks. More this thing. I don't know if we should do it though. It's really stressful. Okay, I wanted to do powder. That's what I was trying to. Anyway. <sighs> Guys, let me do this rest of this thing off camera so that I can I can focus because I feel like I'm doing nonsense. Guys, the the long and short of this story is that I am back on YouTube shop and that's one of the things that have been going on with me. I like this mascara; it makes my lashes look longer. I want to make this one inside look longer too. The problem by you, but I'm not going to risk it and spoil everything I've been doing since. So, um, literally, I'm going to be taking you on a love and life journey. I'm going to be um, taking you through the life of a young um, wedding planner and maybe I will bring in my bridal styling into this channel at some point. I think I would, without warning, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and just literally navigating life as a Nigerian, wherever I might be, whenever I decide, whenever I am able to travel, I will take you on that as well. Give you vlogs, give you sit down videos, maybe one or two get ready with me from time to time. Maybe try on a new a few new products and buy things. Maybe I'll be doing get ready with me. Cause this wasn't so bad. But let's see how that let's see how you guys receive it. And if you guys like it, please let me know. Um some people have suggested certain things they would like to see me do on my channel, so and I have, and I really love the things I've been seeing so far. So if you have anything you want me to try out, do, talk about, um, with regards to love, life, weddings, planning a wedding. If you want to plan a wedding, please, you see my name in the description box below. It's event by Daisy, as you see also seeing on your screen. I'll put, I'll put a link to my business page below. Well, I feel like this part of my eye is just dark. So, it's not like I'm denying being dark, but uh, don't know if it blends with my neck. That's the cocoa bag. So, let me just. Well, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I've been, I see, yeah, my Twitter is Bells Booz. Okay, maybe not bad, but it's like it's like where I have like the most fun. You have ever experienced ageism and you didn't know what it was and you didn't even know there was anything like that. Now you do, and you can share your thoughts with me in the comments. Um, if you can relate, let me know. Um, let's take a selfie <laughs> in the comments. Um, I try doing highlighter. I'm really proud of myself today. Oh God, I hope this highlighter will not be the problem that's because I was caught everything I'm trying to do.
this bronzer de lama queen. This is Shanu Mio. This is Shanu Mio. Bag of gold. I can't remember the last time I used bronzer. I'm trying to experiment on a lot of things. So when you like something that I have done, that I'm experimenting on, just let me know so that I could do more of it. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like I've already said, and I will be seeing you in my next video. So, welcome back to me. <laughs>